And a Nimmo took a ball and now another one and we're well underway. And toward the hole and Nimmo's got a base hit. Those have been tough to come by for Brandon early in the season. But he gets a 2-0 fastball and pulls it through the shift. Line over short and a base hit for McNeil. That chases Nimmo to second. He'll stop there as Brinson gets it in and the Mets have back to back base hits to start the night. Now the bases are loaded for Wilson Ramos. Breaking ball lined over second. Base hit center field. In the score is Nimmo. Ramos an RBI single and the Mets have a one to nothing first inning lead. Well the best hitter in baseball has been Wilson Ramos with runners in scoring position. Smith hits a line drive and that goes through the hole for a base hit. That chases in McNeil. Conforto stops at third. Dom Smith adds an RBI single and it's two nothing New York. And he drives one to left field. That's down for a base hit. Conforto coming in to score. Ramos right behind him. Smith goes to third. It's a two run double for Ahmed Rosario, and the Mets are cooking in the first inning. Four to nothing, New York. RBI single to the opposite field, an inside out single last night. Late, and now he pulls one down the left field line for two more ribeye stakes. Fastball in. Look at him turn on it. Here's the payoff pitch to Lagaris. Swing on a chopper back past the mound, charging for the plate. Smith, it goes to second. The throw by Castro, too late. Smith scores. No throw to first made by Alfaro. It's 5 to nothing, New York. Well, not a very good decision by Starlin Castro to come home as the runner at third base, Smith, got a great jump. The ball was not hit that hard, and it may have been deflected a bit by Urania. On top of that, it was not a very good throw by Castro up toward the first base line. Alfaro had to backhand it just to catch it. And Smith scored easily. Your Anderson takes low. Two balls and two strikes. And this one ripped into right field. That one's going to one hop the wall. Eight for 15. It's Granderson. A one out double in the first inning. Kind of like this into the gap in left center. And that is going to drive home Granderson. An RBI double for Andy, and to finish that point, he had a line out at 108 off the bat. Then the hit fell in, and now the double in the first. Jason Vargas with a 5 to 1 lead, needing three more outs to qualify for a victory. This is a drive out to deep left center field, and into the Auto Nation Alley. Starlin Castro with home runs in back to back games. Marlins back to within three. It's five to two. Oh, oh, oh Starlin starting to get that groove on. Home run yesterday, home run today. Keep chipping away. Five to two. Baseball is strange. A base hit into right field. Roas with a knock. And the Marlins will bring the tying run to the plate with two outs in the sixth. Two seam fastball. The tracking towards the middle of the plate We've seen him do throughout his career line drive base hit to right 3 2 coming and he got him looking went right back to the change up and he gets Granderson to retire the side Gazelman doubling up on the change up and he strands two in the sixth it's Ramos then Smith and Rosario for the Mets in the seventh toward the hole goes skidding by Anderson and into left field and Ramos has his second hit of the night and the Mets first hit since the second inning. Dom takes another one through the shortstop hole for a base hit. It's turning it to Tony Gwynn. That's three hits in the last two days for Dom in that virtual same spot. Now this ball almost beats him inside and just kind of inside outs a little bit just not much. Good hitting. 2 2 coming. Struck him out with a high fastball, so Chen gets the first out as he fans Rosario. His first strikeout in relief, one out of the inning. 3 2. Lagares bounces one on the right side. Castro gets the out at second. No relay throw by Rojas. Turns to see if Ramos was taking a turn at third. He was not. Again, the 3 2. And Davis takes a high ball four, and the bases are loaded. Second walk given up by Chen, and the fifth tonight by Marlins pitchers. 2-2 to Nimmo. And it hit the batterer's hand. He's holding his hand, and they're going to say foul ball. He's running to first no. base. No. Yep, 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 foul ball. Yep. Nimmo ran to first as though he was hit by the pitch, but the home plate umpire, Dan Isonia, signaled foul ball all the way. So the Mets are going to challenge, but of greater concern right now is the left hand of Brandon Nimmo. And they say he was hit by the pitch, 
So Nemo takes his base and the Mets will get a run out of it. Ramos will come in to score. You see Callaway was not really encouraged by what he was seeing. Once again Marlins have runners in scoring position. The 2 2 pitch to short. That one gets through into left center field. There's the hit the Marlins needed. A three hit night for Lewis Brinson. A run comes in to score and it's now six to three. Now Lugo working against his own percentages. That breaking ball that I was talking about, the spin rate and the usage. He loves his breaking ball. He's been hanging it tonight. It's kind of been coming out of his hand and staying up in the zone. And you see this one here stays up at the belt. Lewis Brinson, nice job staying on it as he lines it a one hopper back through the box. Three straight men reaching after the first two are out. O'Brien drives one to left field. Broxton comes on, plays on a bounce, waved at third, coming from Alfaro. The throw toward the plate's cut off. And RBI single for O'Brien, and it's six to four. First hit, first RBI of the season for Peter O'Brien. Marlins have been chasing the Mets all night long from that five run top of the first inning. But they have been chipping away. First pitch swinging, right side. Hit slowly, the flip to Wilson. And Riddle is retired, but Granderson scores, and the Marlins are within one. Wilson ahead 0 2 on Alfaro. Struck him out. Big strikeout for Justin Wilson to keep the Mets in front. O'Brien laces one to right at Rosario. Oh boy. A bullet off the bat of O'Brien, but Rosario able to gobble it up for the first out. That ball was scalded. Left side. And that gets through for a base hit. Tying run into scoring position. Wallach is third hit. Rinse in the tying run at second. Smith. At first. And that's lined to short, and that one's caught by Rosario. Double play, and the ball game is over. And the Mets hang on to win. Two bullets at the shortstop, and the second one results in a game ending double play as Brinson got caught off the bag, fell down trying to get back, and had Justin Wilson able to breathe a big sigh of relief.